Only on two, a former Tulsa firefighter battling cancer, now spending his time raising money for kids, going through the same fight that he is. Two Works for Your Reporter Loring Callender is live at Fire Station 31 in North Tulsa, showing us how Mark Meyer's family is trying to make a once-in-a-lifetime wish come true for the hometown hero. Loreen. Well, Travis, Mark Meyer spent more than 15 years with the Tulsa Fire Department. And during a routine checkup, doctors discovered his growing belly to actually be something that could end his life. Seizures. Mark Meyer always wanted to help others. He found his second home at the Tulsa Fire Department. One of the happiest days of my life, being able to be a fireman. Throughout the years, he noticed his belly growing bigger, but assumed it was him just getting older. My dad and my, my grandparent, uh, grandpa had, had a belly too, so I felt I was just kind of falling into the mold. Sadly, it turned out to be cancer, a 32 pound tumor, in fact. So in 2012, he took a trip to the Big Apple to get it removed. After that, he says he realized it was time to leave his dream job. At the time, I didn't see an end in sight. There was no finish line. After New York, he flew to Germany. Doctors removed 15 metastases from his left lung and 12 in his right. I had always hoped that I could, you know, beat it and come back. And it just it hasn't worked out yet, but I, it's coming. Meyer continues his fight against cancer with his family by his side. He's not just a hero to me. He's he's everybody's hero. A deep love for the family softball. His daughter Kinsey nominated her dad to throw out the first pitch at the NCAA softball World Series. I think instead of having curveballs thrown at him all the time, he deserves to throw one himself. A man fighting cancer, using his time and effort to raise money for kids battling just like him. His charity, Hydrants of Hope, already raised 100 grand for families at St. Francis Hospital. Their way of life is dealing with cancer. And they don't know any different. You know, they're they're the most courageous uh, people you know. Meyer refusing to give up, saying he has so much more life to live. And Stuart Scott, the late sportscaster at ESPN, lost his life, but he won an SB a few years past. And he said you beat th cancer three ways: how you live, why you live, and the manner in which you live. Such an amazing man to talk to, and even if Mark doesn't get to throw out the first pitch, he's still going to dedicate his time to raise money for kids diagnosed with cancer through Hydrants of Hope. Reporting live in East Tulsa, Lauren Callender, Two Works for You.